Whether it's Christmas, weddings, birthdays, or other festivities, you're sure to find a cake in a mix. Round ones, square ones, big ones, and small ones. Cakes come in all shapes and sizes, all flavors and designs. And in an island known for spices such as the nutmeg, cinnamon, the tonka bean, and sapot, it's no surprise that we have some of the best tasting cakes and cake makers in the region. Take for instance Laurel Bruno, who's been in the business for more than 30 years. She discovered her passion for baking in her early teens. I just love the kitchen. I just love the kitchen. Wherever the kitchen is, you will get Laurel. Wherever the food is, you will see Laurel there. And since I had 14 years, I used to be icing cake and I just loved the thing and just went on. Cake making has been part of Grenada's culture as far back as anyone can remember. And since these sweet delicacies accompany most of our traditional celebration, some say it's hard to even imagine life without them. Cakes are said to date back to ancient times. The first cakes, more like bread sweetened with honey, were very different from the ones we eat today. The cake was first originated from Europe. And they used to make this cake and it used to come out like, it was so heavy, eh? It was just a heavy something, and that was on for a long time. But since they have this fine products now, this fine refined products, it just gets you into baking, and with the results it gets in, it just gets you more into the cake. But cake making, cake designing to be specific, has evolved over the years. Today, this industry has taken on a life of its own, with a new generation of cake makers raising the bar on what was traditionally done. Meet some of our very own who are bringing a whole new outlook on just what can be achieved with the right ingredients, patience, and passion. These young ladies are making it big in the Grenada cake industry. The cake evolution, which began for most of them as a hobby, is taking them down a path of numerous business opportunities and sweet successes. For me, cake is an art. Cake is art. So there's a lot of things you can do and a lot of new ways you can practice. And you never know, you might come up with something new. But when, once you start with a cake, it's like you can add this, you can add this, and you keep on going and going, and it just keeps flowing. For flavors, I actually try to think outside of the box because you can basically get a cherry cake anywhere, a fruit cake anywhere, you can get a marble or a plain cake anywhere. But if you give suggestions to your clients and they love it, then you have a hit. You see, in this new era, it's more than just getting your measurements right. It's about interpreting a customer's desire and bringing it to life through an edible piece of art. It's not easy, eh? Um, sometimes somebody asks you for a cake and what they're asking for, you really don't have the, the idea how you're coming up with it yet. You understand? But um, experience has taught a lot. And, um, and so at the end of the day, most times at the end of the day, you come up with exactly what the person wants. However, the sweet industry of baking is no piece of cake, pun intended. It does have its challenges. Among them are the lack of equipment, the cost of ingredients, and the fact that customers often don't understand the cost of the work. It's the time and the effort and all the things that are involved in making that little but beautiful cake. And they may not want to pay for it. But this is no showstopper for the bakers. Most of them promote their art via word of mouth or social media and are reaping the benefits. One young lady, Sharon L. Andrew, made it her business to take the promotion one step further. By no means a baker, but an avid cake lover, she made it her mission to host a competition dubbed Grenada Cake Wars, held for the first time in 2015. I really like to see the love that the bakers put into the cake in terms of creativity, creation. I think that is what really caught my eyes and wanted to show other people that cake decorating a cake on a whole is not just about, you know, just decorating. There's so much more. Since being held, the event has gotten regional and international recognition, which was one of the main objectives. The organizer could hardly contain herself as she spoke about her plans for the 2016 competition, which will be held in October. Cake Wars 2016, I will have for the finale of the islands involved. So what I am doing is pushing the Grenadian bakers beyond their limit. 
The government of Grenada is also catching the vision of this growing industry. That is why through the Ministry of Youth Imani program, it's making training available in cake making and decorating as part of its commercial food preparation program. Independent training is also offered by the featured bakers upon request. We offer classes, all of us offer classes. And um, they just need to seek us out, find out. There are a lot of other people besides us doing classes. Just go for it. I have classes which I love teaching every, ever so often. And with a good result, it just gives me a time to go on and on to teach. And I really love that. With all this in mind, the bakers have high hopes and expectations for the local industry. Right at the top of the list is seeing Grenada rank among the best in cake making and decorating. My wish list would be that Grenada would be recognized as one of the leading Caribbean countries when it comes to cake decorating. It's something I like to see build up there. So maybe in the next five years, you know, we could say you're getting international orders. People just want someone from Grenada to make that cake because they have that particular talent and skill that somebody in Trinidad or somebody in Jamaica or even the U.S. is looking for. The cake industry is as big as singing industry. There, There is a very fine line between cake and singing because nobody wants a boring old cake, right? You want a cake to reflect your personality. You want your cake to tell a story. So that is what I am trying to, you know, establish here. From the beautiful Kamahan Park with all these beautiful bakers, I am Janelle Hamlet for State of Affairs. Yummy!